Good morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about equalization and overview. Equalization. Equalization is a technique used to combat inter-symbol interference. The device which equalizes the dispersive effects of a channel is referred to as an equalizer. In a broad sense, the term equalization can be used to describe any signal processing operation that minimizes inter-symbol interference, that is ISI. Here is a representation of equalizer system. The signal is supplied to transmit filter. From that, it is passed through physical channel. And from the physical channel, it reaches the receiver filter. From the receiver filter, it reaches equalizer it is represented here the term equalization is nothing but estimating the channel impulse response the estimate is this calculated and it is used to compensate the distortion of the channel which all lead to improve the performance of a transmission link need for equalizers Intersymbol interference, that is ISI, caused by multipath in band limited time dispersive channels. It distorts the transmitted signal, causing big errors at the receiver. ISI has been recognized as the major obstacle to high speed data transmission over wide channels. If the modulation bandwidth exceeds the coherence bandwidth of the radio channel, ISI occurs and modulation pulses are spread in time into adjacent symbols. An equalizer within the receiver compensates for the average range of expected channel amplitude and delay characteristics. An equalizer is usually implemented at the baseband or at intermediate frequency in a receiver. Inter-symbol interference representation is shown here. For the input data stream, the channel output is the superposition of each bit's output. This is shown in this diagram. This is the resultant channel output waveform. In radio channels, a variety of adaptive equalizers can be used to cancel interference while providing diversity. Since the mobile fading channel is random, time varying. Equalizers must track the time varying characteristics of the mobile channel and these are called adaptive equalizers. General block diagram of communication system using adaptive equalizer at the receiver side is shown here. The original baseband message is X of T that is applied to the modulator. From that it reaches transmitter. From the transmitter it reaches radio channel. Then here we have RF receiver front end IF stage detector match the filter then from this it is applied to the equalizer before it is being applied to the equalizer we will be having an equivalent noise in suffix b of t and from the equalizer it passes through the decision maker and we are obtaining a reconstructed message data d of t this is represented in this block diagram Figure shows a block diagram of communication system with an adaptive equalizer in the receiver. If X of T is the original information signal and F of T is the combined complex baseband impulse response of the transmitter, channel and the RFIF sections of the receiver, the signal received by the equalizer may be expressed as y of t is equal to x of t convolution f conjugate of t plus n suffix b of t. 
consider this as equation 1 where f conjugate of t denotes the complex conjugate of f of t n suffix b of t is the baseband noise at the input of the equalizer and the symbol indicates the convolution operation the impulse response of the equalizer is h suffix eq of t then the output of the equalizer is d of t is equal to x of t convolution f conjugate of t convolution h suffix eq of t plus n suffix b of t convolution h suffix eq of t that is equal to x of t convolution g of t plus n suffix b of t convolution h suffix eq of t consider this as equation 2 where g of t is the combined impulse response of the transmitter channel or of IF sections of the receiver and the equalizer of the receiver the complex baseband impulse response of the transversal filter equalizer is given by h suffix eq of t is equal to summation n c suffix n delta of t minus n capital t consider this as equation 3 where c suffix n are the complex filter coefficients of the equalizers the desired output of the equalizers is x of t the original source data assume that n suffix b of t is equal to 0 then in order to force the cap of t that is equal to x of t in equation 2 then we get g of t is equal to f conjugate of t convolution h suffix eq of t that is equal to delta of t consider this as equation 4 the goal of the equalization is to satisfy equation 4 so that the combination of the transmitter and the receiver appear to be an all pass channel in the frequency domain the equation 4 can be expressed as capital H suffix EQ of F F capital F conjugate of minus F that is equal to 1 consider this as equation 5 where capital H suffix EQ of F that is capital F of T or the Fourier transform of small h suffix eq of t that is f of t respectively the training sequence is transmitted before the information data sequence to compute the initial optimum tap coefficients of the adaptive equalizer classification of equalizers equalizers are broadly classified into linear equalizer and non-linear equalizer this classification is represented here linear equalizer if the output is not used in the feedback path to adapt the equalizer then it is called linear equalizer linear equalizer is further classified into transversal equalizer and lattice equalizer non-linear equalizer if the output is fed back to change the subsequent outputs of the equalizer then it is called non-linear equalizers non-linear equalizer is further classified into decision feedback estimation equalizer that is DFP maximum likelihood symbol deduction that is ml symbol detector and maximum likelihood sequence estimation mlse partial response systems when the inter symbol interference is in a controlled amount that is tolerable it will be possible to exploit the same in system design such a class of systems are called partial response systems that is PR systems in a simple case of PR systems where the linear symbol interference results only due to one adjacent symbol it is known as duo binary 
It is always complex to design a receiver that is optimum natured even in the presence of ISI and additive Gaussian noise. To model such a receiver is complex and the solution adopted for the maximum likelihood principles can be applied. One type of this principle is maximum likelihood sequence estimation abbreviated as MLSE. The advantages of PR systems are as follows. It is simple to implement. It produces balanced trade-off between noise powers and signal plus distortion levels. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends.